hello there this is lena with especially made for me i want to show you today just another uh, way of doing a small centerpiece using florals um, and i'm gonna um just gonna show you some of the items that we're gonna be using today but just wanted to do another floral um we did uh, one not too long ago i think about two maybe three weeks ago for valentine's day so i wanted to do another um idea using some of the same ideas actually but for St. Patrick's Day, since that's also coming up. So we're gonna be using some green <laughs> uh, to kind of keep with the theme. So you will need, for items, we're gonna need some flower picks and I'm gonna show you some of the ones I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Um, and we're gonna use five different, um, I have five stems here. And you could just pick up whichever colors you may wanna use. Again, you can use this for any uh, season and holiday and whatnot um, but today we're just going to do a St. Patrick theme. They also have these at the dollar store just a little tin can they have them in different colors um, some have patterns on it um, the one that we used a, a few weeks ago had like some reds and whites and some pinks on it for Valentine's Day um, they had some purple ones on there also so there's a whole bunch of different ones so we're going to need that or something that you can use for a vase or vase <laughs> um, for our centerpiece you're going to need some star foam um you can use some that's already sized or you can use a bigger piece and cut it to size which is what we're going to be doing today going to need some rocks um and they do have uh rocks at the dollar store as well they sell them in this little mesh thing so i just kind of put mine in a little bowl just to kind of keep them together so we're going to be using that and that is mainly for the bottom of our vase our boss uh, to kind of give it some weight just to make sure it doesn't go topsy-turvy you're gonna need a glue gun. I have my uh, Ryobi glue gun because it's cordless and I love cordless because it doesn't get in my way. <laughs> there is a link for that um, on the um, affiliate link on the bottom of the video um, for the descriptions. You're gonna need some glue sticks to go with that. We are going to need um, something to fill our base to kind of for coverage. So we're gonna be using um, some coverage for that. You're gonna need a uh, wire cutter as well it may be something if you're going to be using a bigger star foam and you need to cut it to size you're going to need something to cut it down with it doesn't take much you could use a little knife or just a um, box cutter to kind of get it started and then it's just not um, snap right off my accent kicked in Woohoo! spanglish so that's pretty much all we're going to be needing for supplies um, to be able to do our small centerpiece so it doesn't take much at all i'm going to change the view of the camera so that we can have that multiple view you have me on the corner of your screen and then also have a top view of a bird's eye view so you can see things as we're putting it together so i am going to move my keyboard out of the way just because i don't want to hit a button and then <laughs> something happens and we we're no longer connected here and I'm gonna change the view so that we can get started. And I'm so glad you're here joining me. If, you, if this is your first time here, if, or if you haven't already joined, even if you've seen some of my videos, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There's also a little bell that you can click on. We say ring the bell. Uh, that'll also notify you for when we go live or uh, upload a premiere video. Uh, so that way you'll be um, notified of those as we uh, do those as well. Let's change the view. Okay, here we go. So we should be on the corner, uh, top corner of your screen and then also have that bird's eye view. And these are just the items that I was just going over a little bit ago. The first thing that we're gonna do is use some of that glue from, with the glue gun and put it on the bottom of our vase. And I knew it was about to run out so that's why I have some glue gun, uh, some glue sticks here. And I cut mine because it is so long, so I cut it just so it doesn't, you know, stick out so badly. And then we're just going to drop some of these on here, on the bottom. And again, it's just to give it some weight. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. And then what I like to do is put some more, like you see that from the top, just put some more glue over it so that way they'll stick together and they won't move. <laughs> so I just kind of sprinkle it on there just to make sure they stick. Okay. Get the spider webs. <laughs> okay. So we're done with that. I'm actually going to put that back here behind me so it'll be out of our way. 
Okay, so our next thing is, it's nice and warm, it'll cool, but you already can tell the rocks are not gonna be moving, and that adds a little bit of weight to it, again, just so that it doesn't go topsy-turvy. Then the next thing will be getting our styrofoam in place. Now this fits perfectly on there. If you were to do a bigger uh, vase and you wanted something longer, this is what I use these for, um, then using something like this will help with that because then you can kind of go on the sides and on the top and make it even longer. But with this being a small one, we don't want it to make it too big. So I'm actually going to cut this to size. And we'll see if we can get it done with this here. Now again, it doesn't take much. Just kind of get it started. And it should just pop on open. If we did it deep enough, let's see. <laughs> Done it before and it just comes right on off. So let's see. I have to go a little deeper. There we go. Get this one out of the way. And then you still have this for another piece if you want to do that. I'm just going to put it to the side in case we need to use it for later. So what I like to do from there is just put, again, some more glue on the side all the way around of your vase where this should actually stick to. And it's going to push, that push down and go further down on there so you could always put some more glue on your sure do that okay on your star foam and this is to make sure that it doesn't move once you get it all in there okay we're just gonna have it go down just to kind of line it up with the top of your vase so as much as possible now I know you um, you may have noticed some of these drips from the glue gun with the glue if you have one of these boards, you don't have to worry much at all about that because it comes right off. Once it dries, it'll pop right on off. That's why I like these uh, these boards. There's also a link for that, an affiliate link for these on there. Okay, on the bottom of the video. Okay, so these they also have at the dollar store. Okay, just wanted to show how you can quickly, easily, and very inexpensively, you can do a small centerpiece that's very cute that you can use in your home and even um, give away as a gift or sell if you'd like to do these type of projects just to make some money on the side. So we're going to put some more glue up here. And this is so that we can fill it up. Now some um, do this after putting the flowers in and you could do either or and i actually sometimes do both i just like having that extra coverage and it doesn't require much at all you could just drop it on there make sure that you don't burn yourself because that glue is hot you can kind of feel the warmth <laughs> And this is just to cover that star foam. And then we can put our stems from the flowers we have. We'll put it right on on here. We'll just cut them to size. And then as we need to, we can fill up some more. I like giving it a little bit of height at the end once I'm done putting everything on there. And you'll see what I mean. If you haven't watched that other one we did a few weeks ago for Valentine's, you could um, also go back to that one. It's going to be a little bit different just because we're not using uh, an actual um, pick to put on this one because these flowers that we got from the dollar store already have some. Um, um, let's see, I don't think you got to see that on the. These already have almost like another little pick on there for St. Patrick's Day. Let's see, they have that, and then they have like the coins. Give me me coins. So I put that, excuse me, that way. So because they already have that, we're not going to be adding extra picks. Of course, we can if we want to, um, based on, you know, your preference. So do it the little shake, shake. Make sure nothing falls out. 
Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit more here just because I can see some of that star foam. And again, just be careful as you're putting this on that you don't get burnt. Got some of that glue on me. So I was able to feel some of the heat, but it's not burning hot. I want to make sure that you're aware of that as you're doing it on your side. <laughs> All righty. mentioned earlier I got at the dollar store they have it by where they have their flowers and their moss and moss seed moss I actually keep picking in today I don't know why but I like this one better because it didn't look um so brown and that other green ones that they have they just looked a little funny to me so this one it's almost like a I don't know I don't know how to describe it but it just looks more like grass to me and I guess that's why I liked it better so I'm gonna move that to the side when we add that on later I'm gonna turn my glue gun off because we're not gonna get a uh, the battery died on me so you would have to decide which side you want it to be facing if you want the if you get one of these faces because it's got the little handle on it so what's that's one of the toughest decisions I guess that you'll have what I'm going to do let's see we have two of these and only one of these so I'm going to use this as my base my middle my center and I'll show you what I mean I'm going to take the tags off and we don't always have to cut each individual flower stem what I like to do, if there's something I want to use as my center, I could put the whole, we could put the whole thing on there. We just got to fan it all out. So the first thing I do is I like pushing the leaves all the way up. So I'm pushing up on those leaves so they'll be against the flower. Kind of gives us more of that greenery. And it makes the flower look better. At least in my opinion okay now we have two of these so in this case let's see we have four flowers and we have the two shamrocks so decision making you would have to decide which way you want your flowers to to be your shamrocks if you want them in the middle you're just basically spreading it out if you want any going forward and backwards we do have one higher than the other let me put it this way so you can see one higher than the other so you could always leave those towards your center and then divide these up since we also have some white um, roses to put on here or you can go front and back and then move the others around because you do still have in this case i have the green one with a few of the green but we still have some more of those shamrocks so we can just play with it and go with it and decide as we go. So I'm going to put this one up in right in the center and push in. Now normally I would do the hot glue and then put that in there so it won't go anywhere. In this case I didn't because I noticed my battery on the glue gun died and I don't have my skillet turned on. So I'll come back later and I'll go ahead and get that glued on. I think I did the same thing at the for the Valentine's one and I did it afterwards okay so I'm gonna go ahead and add the green for these another thing you could do if you still wanted to do the full stem you could do it this way if you had enough stems to go around and just put the whole thing on there and then spread it or you can now cut them and spread the love if you want to spread everything evenly Let's see if 
if I can get all this stickers off from the dollar store. Again, if you're just joining me, we are doing a small centerpiece using items from the Dollar Tree. Just getting a few flower stems and going from there. Doing the same thing, we're just going to go ahead and push our leaves up by the flowers. And these we're going to go ahead and cut. And what I'm going to do at first is cut them as long as possible. I'm going to cut the one that I have that sticky label on that we couldn't get it all off and make that one short. But normally I will cut them all as long as possible and then I can cut from there. Just in case you may need to shape your centerpiece. Okay. So now we have, again, the two shamrocks. One longer than the other. So now we'll be able to spread it. Because now it's not all together. Okay. Same thing with these flowers that have the green. So what I like to do is check to see which are the tallest because those I like to put towards the middle. And then the shorter ones towards the front. Okay. Now these are the same type of flowers. We just have, instead of shamrocks, we have the, the coins instead. So I'm gonna cut these as well. Okay, we'll fix that. That's easily fixable. Okay. I'm not going to bother with that tag because I know we have a short one. Okay, and that's for the one that fell apart. And I'll show you how to fix that here in a second. Or two or three. Just gonna cut everything and then we're gonna start putting it all together. Okay. Let's get our sizes together. There's my two short ones. And I do this so so that you'll know the why. I like making sure I tell the why. That way you can have everything more rounded. And you can provide more coverage as where you need it. And go from there. Okay. And let's fix this one. So where it came off, we're going to go ahead and just insert that back in. Now, see if you can. I'm just going to put that right back through. Find where you have your the hole and we're going to insert that back in. Now you can put a little bit of glue if you're concerned with that it might be coming off. And then put it back in and that'll keep it all together. Spider webs. Okay. So we're going to start putting things together because we want some of this green and then we can do some of our whites to fill it in because we already have the white so we're going with the green and again you would do your glue gun or do your skillet to make sure that everything stays on so I'm going to go ahead and just spread the green Not to worry if you see if it doesn't seem like it's looking 
the way you think you would want it to look because again we still have all these fillers to put in so we're going to be filling in the holes right now we just want to make sure that things that we want to stand out to be on where we want it to be these are wired you can move them around as you need to so if you decide you want to move some things around to the back or the front or what have you you can definitely do that as well Just try to keep in mind where you want your front to be and the back if you want to keep it a certain way towards the front. And the idea is to have everything pretty much kind of rounded but build some height at the same time. And you want to make sure that you have different levels. And by levels I mean the heights of the different flowers and the picks if you're using picks and so forth. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll turn this upside, I guess sideways, so that you can see flowers in different levels, kind of like it's a you know stairway, but it's kind of rounded at the same time. So you have low in the middle and then higher up, and then all the way around you do the same thing. That's another reason why I use the rocks on the bottom to give it that height, um, that weight, because that way you can build up on it and you don't have to worry about um it going sideways on you. Okay, moving our leaves towards the top with our flowers, our roses, depending on what uh, which ones you picked. Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and cut as long as I possibly can because again you want to make sure you spread everything and you may want some to be higher than others and then if you need to cut down you'll be able to cut down if you need to. This one I'm going to put more towards the center so I'm going to cut around it if I can make it look decent enough. Okay, let's see if that would work. Just to add, I think that could work. Okay. Just to add a little bit more of the white in the middle. Okay. Doing the same thing here with the other picks. I'm going to go ahead and pop this one off. Sometimes it's easier to do that for that label they put on there. So don't mind me. And again, just moving those leaves up to the flowers. 
gives us more of that greenery and provides more coverage as well. That's my cheating method. <laughs> Just kind of gauging for the sizes. And that way I know exactly where to put them. Or where I could put them. Okay. And this should be my taller ones. Followed by these. Okay. So here we go. Doing the same thing again. Just going all the way around. making sure I have my front so that way I can continue with spreading. And I may actually need to move those coins a little bit more forward. you can eyeball it as you go again based on your preference and how you want it to look and once you have everything on there you will still be able to move the flowers if you need to move them to a different side is to get them mixed up. But with it being a St. Patrick's theme, you want to have you know, all the green and just mix in some of the white for coverage. Just joining me, we are doing a small centerpiece, doing a St. Patrick's theme using Dollar Tree items. Okay, so this is our look so far. Pretty full. That's from the top. And you can move things around just to do some shaping. And then just kind of turn it here and there just so that you can see if you may need to move some of the flowers around to do the coverage or if you want to make sure that you have more green or more white, you can move them around. And that's pretty much it. Let's see if I can get it closer that way. So plenty of coverage, and if you want to add more of the greens or more picks or add more white you can definitely do that i do actually have another stem on the as a backup on the side 
in case I wanted to add some more. But that's pretty much it, just for something to add as a quick centerpiece uh, to a table or a corner station or... There we go, the coins and our shamrocks. And it has plenty of glitter, because these have glitter, screen glitter. They have glitter on the top. So the only ones that don't have glitter are the white ones, the complete white ones. So quick and easy. There's our front. Kind of hold it this way. Pretty full. And you can also see it on the corner corner view and I'll change the camera view so you can see that a little bit better as well and I'll hold it up let's see kind of here we go okay so there it is quick and easy very inexpensive to do and you could add more picks again or you could add more flowers or if you want something else you want to add you could do a little bow but just for something quick easy and simple and inexpensive that's all it took so we used five five different floral stems uh, from the Dollar Tree and they already had these um, picks attached to them so we didn't necessarily have to add more if we didn't want to and that's pretty much it y'all <laughs> quick and easy next week i'm thinking of doing some more fall desserts fake desserts so hopefully you'll be able to join me i have some um behind me actually on this side <laughs> so we're going to be doing the strawberry uh cake next week and if depending on time we'll also do that um chocolate raspberry the the mini cake as well so we'll see we may um even add a little bit more to that we have cupcakes cupcakes we can do and all that so we'll We'll see based on time what we'll do for next week. But I wanted to go ahead and do another floral uh, piece just for a small centerpiece that you can do very quickly and inexpensively just for decorating around your home or just for a quick gift for someone. And I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, please do give me thumbs up. And again, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And share the love. Click on that bell for, so that you'll get notifications from when we go live and when we do an upload of a premiere video. That way you'll be notified of that so you won't miss it. Um, and please make sure you give us some comments, any questions or anything. I'll be sure to, to answer. I do check back periodically on the comments in case they weren't put in while we were live or while we were doing our premiere. Uh, so that we'll be able to answer any questions you may have. But until next time, we are here on Fridays at 8 p.m. Central Time, Central Standard Time. So do join us again next week. And if by chance you, get, you miss us and you're not able to be with us while we're live or premiering our video, please do... Do a replay. Let me know that you did a replay. Put a comment on there that you um, did the replay on it uh, so I'll know. And then ask any questions and I'll be sure to answer us. Uh, check on those comments. So until next time, stay safe, stay liquid. Bye-bye.